Yo, 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 it's your boy Marcus Scott, aka the Caramel Poppy, and this is Caramel Poppy Game and Ho. Uh, now, I got a game article, a game and article from Game Luster. Alright, basically, the new GTA 5 next gen release is coming in November of this year. How do I feel about that? Eh. I mean, yes, it should happen, just for the simple fact that. You do have next gen systems that could probably enhance the game, but at the same time, it's like, well, you know, we waited a while. I mean, this is something that should have came day one, or you know, Rockstar knew there was new systems coming out. I mean, I I don't I'm not a developer. I wouldn't know how long it takes for you know these enhancements to actually happen, but you know. I would assume by the time this comes out, they could start getting uh, the promotions ready for GTA 6. But then again, they probably won't even announce that until 2022. Just for the simple fact they don't want that to in- interfere with the sales. So, hey. Alright, so let's get into this article. A release date for Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S has been set for November 11th, 2021. Uh, the announcement was made relatively under the radar, featured at an end of a post from Rockstar concerning upcoming plans related to the world of GTA Online and Red Dead Online. Rockstar further confirmed that the special benefits will include the summer updates to GTA Online for players to take advantage take advantage of in these expanded and enhanced versions when they drop. The standalone version of GTA Online is available to players across both platforms but exclusively free to PS5 players for the first three months post-launch. So basically, GTA Online is going to be available on both platforms, but it's going to be exclusively free to PS5 for the first three months. Interesting. What this means is for the next-gen players on Xbox Series X and S, they'll either have to pay for the standalone version of GTA Online or all of GTA 5. PlayStation Plus members are further reminded to claim GTA $1 million each month until the launch of GTA Online on the PS5. Okay. To celebrate the 20th anniversary of Grand Theft Auto 3, Rockstar announced that they'll have even more fun surprises to share. Okay, so hopefully that's, you know, some next, you know, the, GTA 6 is what everyone's waiting on. So hopefully that's what they're referring to. And meanwhile, within the world of GTA Online, eight new stun races. And that's my credit card. Uh, let's see. Stun races will be arriving as part of GTA Online. Stun, blah, 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 blah. Survival mode, game modes, blah, blah, blah. Red Dead Online, for those skilled in horseback riding, will be introduced Okay, so I'm just gonna skip all the good stuff, just for the just for the simple fact that this is I don't like what they're doing here. I mean, I get it. It says to stand all over. All right, well, I guess they're selling GTA online. I wonder how much they're gonna charge for it. But the way I think about it, most people do have GTA already. If you have a system, I'm pretty sure someone has Grand Theft Auto already. I will. I mean, this is only good for people that brought it probably on the 360 or the PS3 and never got the PS4 version or the Xbox One version. Or let's just say you just happen to have the physical version of Grand Theft Auto 5 on your PS4 and then... You got a PS5 that's digital. You know, you don't have the disc, so you can't play it. Grand Theft Auto. But that means you still have to rebuy it. So, I don't know how this is going to work. Hopefully, this is like 10 or 15 bucks. Uh, or, I can't see this being over 30. It's just... It's weird that they still, you know... That they're still trying to, you know, market the, the GTA Online. I mean, it's a good community. There's a lot of people that still play the game. The game still sells every month and it's always in the the um NPDs of the top ten selling games for that for a month. So there is a demand. I just hope I just wish that the Grand Theft Auto five enhancements actually came, you know, 
soon. Well, not soon, but but it came already. It's coming towards the end of the year, and that's gonna make it a full year since since the actual systems came out. I, I mean, if hey, it's better late than never, but hopefully there's just more. Um, I would say frames per second. Um, I don't know how it's operating on a Xbox One X or the PS4 Pro, but hopefully there's some 4K enhancements. I'm hoping 60 frames per second. Hopefully. <laughs> Maybe 4K 30, but you know, 4K 60 to me is the standard as of now. Maybe some ray tracing. No, I'm getting it too ahead of myself. <laughs> I don't know. Probably the... They might just do some, you know, uh, what 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 do they call those things? Um, life improvements, just to make the game better. Not too much with the graphic fidelity. I don't think they're gonna spend you know too much time with ray tracing and stuff like that. You might get four K. I don't know about no ray tracing, but it would be cool if it had it. But hey, all right, that's it. Grand Theft Auto Five next gen release is slated for November eleventh. All right, let me know if you guys are getting this game. I'm not going to be getting this because I have GTA 5 already. I don't plan on jumping back into it. But hey, that's, that's for the kids, man. That's what the kids want to play. All right. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification button to stay notified. And, you know, if you want to get notified on more Grand Theft Auto news. All right, I'm out. Stay safe.